The purpose of this video is to show you how to use Google Drive and Docs, walking you through the st steps that I have assigned for you for the uh, assignment called Learning to Use Google Drive and Docs. The first thing that you need to do when you start the assignment is to make sure that you are using Chrome. If you don't have Chrome, then what you need to do is to go to where it says go to Chrome, click on that link, and it will take you to the place to download the app. I'm on a Mac, so it took me to download for a Mac. If you're on Windows, it'll take you to download for Windows. So once you've installed Chrome, open the Chrome browser and you're ready to go. Next step is to get to your Google Drive. There are many ways to do this, but I'll start you with an easy way to do that. If you go to your UMD Gmail, <clears throat> actually if you're in any Google um, app, you will see that there is an icon, the Google Apps icon, that looks a bit like a waffle iron. Click on that and you will see the various Google Apps and I want you to launch your Google Drive. So click on that. Once in your Google Drive, I want you to create a folder for our course. To do that, you click on the New button and select Folder. Once you've done that, what you should do is name the folder eduk 2000 spring 2020 and click to create it. You will see that it now appears in the list of folders on my drive. Double click on it to open it. And there is nothing in it yet. What you're going to do now is to add a new Google Doc. So you click New and select Google Doc. The first thing here is we will give this a heading which is learning to use Google Drive. <clears throat> Notice when I do that that the document um, is untitled. If you have the first line of your document typed out, when you click Untitled Document, it automatically fills it in, so it now has a title. The next thing I want you to do is to make this line of text a heading. Currently it is normal text. What I want you to do is to click on the text there, then from this drop-down menu select Heading 1. That is now formatted it's an accessibility issue also if you click here on this little but button there it will actually show you the outline of all of the headings in your document which is very useful to navigate around a document so you have learning to use google drive so we'll hit return then next thing to do is i want you to share the document with me to do that you click on the blue share button and type my email address in so hrallis at d.umn.edu, auto. you'll find it and it'll actually autofill there. So you've put my name in there, you're going to share it with me. It defaults to giving me editing access. I want you to give me commenting access. So my name, my, my email address, choose from this menu, can comment. And then I want you to uncheck notify people because I don't want you, to, it, what, if you do, leave that checked, it'll send me an email, and I don't want you know, 60 students sending me emails to, to notify me. So make sure you uncheck that, and then you'll click OK. Now I'm actually going to cancel, because I don't want to share it with me, but that's what you'll do to share the document. When you share the document, it'll actually give you a, a, a box if you've unchecked notify to ask you if you want to skip sending notifications and you'll say yes. Next what I want you to do is I want you to, sh to um, share, I'm going to copy from the assignment here, in the assignment you will see where are we here. Um, I want you to copy this address, the address for the class Google group. So you copied that, um, edit copy and then come back to this Google Doc. Now we're going to share this with the class Google group. And so I've copied it and I'm going to paste that URL. That is a URL that for everybody who is in our Eduke 2000 course. And I want you to give the class viewing rights. 
So you gave me commenting rights, you're giving the class viewing rights. And again, very important, uncheck notify people. When you do that, you click OK. And here's where you get that skip sending invitations um, notification and you say OK. So now you have shared it with me and with the class. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to put a picture in the doc. Document. So find a picture um, before you do this on your computer so you know that you have one to share. Next to insert it you click on insert and you select image upload from computer. So when I select that it opens my computer and it's actually on my desktop and I have an image here. Let's choose that one. It's a picture of me. So I found the image that I want and I click open. Now, it's whoopsie, I put it in the wrong place. All right, I put it in the middle of that sentence. So actually what I'm going to do is go to undo. If you saw how to undo, you want to make sure that you're putting the picture in, in, in a, on a blank space. So let's try that again. Insert, image, upload from computer, find the image, and open. All right, now it's very big, and I don't need it to be that big, so I'm going to click on the image and use one of the corners to resize it so that now I have the heading and I have an image underneath. All right, now the next step that I want you to do is to submit the assignment. And so what we're going to do is we need the link of the assignment. So I'm get, you don't want to copy it from there. Click here, share, and do not click get shareable link because if you do that, it makes that by clicking on that it actually makes the document available to anyone with a link and you don't want to do that so what you want to do is you want to click on advanced and there is the link that you want to share i tr triple click on it to highlight the whole thing and then i use the edit copy or uh, command c so i've copied it um that the link i can also check here that it's shared with me Actually, I'm the owner of this document, and it's shared with the class um, alias, and we're going to click Done. So now I have that on the clipboard, the URL. You come to the assignment, and what you want to do, if at the top of the assignment, you'll see there's a button for submitting the assignment. Click on the Submit assi button, Assignment button, and you will see that um, it's asking for a website URL. And so you have already copied the link. So what we're going to do is we're going to paste it into there. So that's the, that is the link of the Google Doc. And I've pasted it into this box. And you click Submit Assignment. And you're done. That's it. I can see that it's submitted because it's assignment successfully submitted. Um, in the future, if you want to, um, I'll also show you, it also shows you here, Submitted. In the future, if you have to resubmit an assignment for any reason, you would click on the resubmit assignment button. That's it.